welcome to Jenga Taxius. As far as our opening hand goes, we've got some good stuff. We've got Island, we've got Soul Ring, and we can Mystical Tutor for some card advantage if we need it. I think we keep on this one. Yeah, we are on the draw, so I'm going to hope that we run into an Island. If we've got to use Mystical Tutor for like Brainstorm or a Ponder Piece or something like that, um, we can certainly do that, but um, yeah, we've got Soul Ring and we've got Spell Sky, so that, that sounds like a pretty good plan. So, But yes, welcome! To Jenga Taxis. Hope you're excited to uh, hopefully get some pretty gnarly stuff out there today. That's going to be the name of the game. Let's see if we hit an island. All right, so we do run into a land. I'll take that. So it's going to lead off with island. Um, let's go Soul Ring and uh, let's get old Spell Sky down for two. One, two. There we go. And we can get the Spell Sky combat train going too, which I'm very excited about. And then anything else, let's go and pass the turn over. Uh, to our opponent. We're playing Jinka Taxi as Progress Tyrant. Uh, whenever you cast an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. This ability only triggers once each turn. Uh, then whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, um, counter that spell. This ability only triggers once each turn. All right, there we go. We had Force of Negation, but um, <laughs> I was going to try to grab it real quick for Sisse, but that doesn't work. So anyway, we've got Force online if we need it. Um, let's go lead off with the uh, Dark Steel Citadel. Um, let's go ahead and get in for zero. Let's see if our opponent's going to block on this one or not. If not, we'll be able to get in for zero. Get Spell Sky a little happy into the red zone. Uh, knock them down to 40. And then let's go to our second main phase. Let's go for Thought Vessel off of Soul Ring. It's going to be one, two. And that's going to be one, two, three. We have three total. Yeah, let's just go and pass the turn. We've got Force of Negation. Um, we've got some good stuff. We're going to be able to uh, get, yeah, because we're going to have five total mana. So we're going to be able to go for Mirror Works or Blink Moth Earn next turn if we want to. And so we can kind of see what's going on uh, as far as our opponent's side of the battlefield. Playing against Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, if you heard her meow, that is my production assistant. She wasn't in the room that I recorded in, so I leave the door kind of like barely closed so she can come in. And... Uh, <laughs> She always bust open the door. Yeah, I think we're good on nature's lore. Uh, she always bust open the door like, I can't believe you left this closed. So anyway, production assistant is in here. So if we get some shuffling around of trying to get her in the, the seat right now. Okay, we'll cover uh, Sisse with the light captain and then hopefully maybe she'll... Uh, We'll get her into the lap. So, uh, playing Sisse with a light captain is going to get plus one, plus one for each color among legendary permanents that you control. Then, for a Wooburg activation, search your library for a legendary permanent card with mana value less than Sisse's power. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Now, they do have uh, two colorless floating uh, with scattered growth on the battlefield. So, let's see what this is. And that's going to be Sisse. All right, so we're not going to be able to do anything with that. I guess we could Mystical Tutor. For Raven form on Sisse. I mean, we're not really worried about the Wooberg activation right now. But I kind of like doing that as a little bit of setup. So let's do that. So, so let's go Mystical Tutor. Let's grab ourselves Raven form. And let's get this popped out. Yeah, let, let's do that. So let's grab Raven form. It's going to go on top. That's going to allow us to, with them tapping down Mana Vault, I like going for Raven form because that gives us the chance to kind of chew up their mana just for a little bit. So let's go and go for Raven form. Uh, on Sisse, that's going to be blue, and then two off of Soul Ring. That's going to be a bird token that's going to send Sisse back to the command zone, and then anything else. We'll go and hold up Spell Sky. we got Spell Sky to go in from one, so we're, we're pretty good. So let's go ahead and then uh, pass the turn over there. All right, so they're going to have the uh, Mana Vault trigger. So we did actually, yeah, we did cover both commanders. Let's give a quick shout out to our sponsors, TCG Player. If you go to bit.ly slash joltmtg, that will apply my affiliate link. That'll allow you to get some cards and help support the channel at the same time. Uh, so if you do use that link, much obliged. Certainly appreciate that. Um, let's give a quick shout out to MTGO Traders. If you want to play Magic Online just like I'm doing, um, they got you covered for all of your card needs. Let's give a quick shout out to inkgaming.com slash jolt for 10% off of your order and... Last but not least, I started a Patreon, so if you'd like to directly support cool content like this, there's a link down in the description below. Uh, but if you're keeping score at home with your little baby samurai head, and it's a demonic tutor. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, it's officially free time. Let's have some fun. And I forgot to mention, Jenka Taxis does partner uh, with little baby samurai head. Don't even know a word yet. Um, it doesn't do anything, but you're totally allowed to say that whenever Jenga Taxius enters the battlefield. All right, so opponent's going to go for Demonic Tutor. Search your library for a card, put that card in your hand, then shuffle. Um, so we'll see what this is. More than likely, um, with them having Mana Vault down, and if they didn't make the land drop, um, they might be grabbing a land or some sort of ramp 
in hopes of getting ahead on mana. So that's what we're kind of hoping for too. And um, one of the good things about Blink Moth Urn for next turn is that we're going to be able to uh, add a pretty good chunk of mana. Um, we could potentially go for Jenga Taxis, but unfortunately we only have one blue source right now. And uh, that is a little bit of a bummer. So uh, we'll see what we can do about that. But uh, if you're coming across Jenga Taxis, I did release Jenga Taxis last week. Um, if you want to check it out, the first kind of gameplay footage. And so uh, this week we're kind of giving another go with a lot of the Commander decks. I, I, I know I've always built a lot of uh, a lot of the new Commanders from the sets as they've released. And as they've released so many new Commanders, it's kind of hard to keep up with that. And so... I've kind of settled into this, picking my top five, top four commanders for the set. And there we go, run into Ancient Tomb. <laughs> we'll take it. So let's go and drop in Ancient Tomb. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be seven total mana. And if we had a blue source, we'd be online for Jenga Taxius. Um, I think at this point, if we wanted to get cute, we could go Mirror Works and then set up a copy of Blink Moth Urn for next turn. You, didn't, you know, I kind of like doing that. Let's go for it. And, you know, uh, Bleak Moth Urn does help us get to Jenga Taxis, but we have the mana right now. So um, let's go and tap down. We'll represent some counter magic. I like that. Take a little bit of life loss on this. Let's get down Mirror Works and then uh, anything else. We will pass the turn over to our opponent. Uh, but yeah, you know, I used to build all the commanders and they'd only release five or six or seven commanders, but there's a lot of them out there now. And, uh, there's a lot of supplemental commander stuff that they've released too, so it's been kind of hard to keep up with. So um, if you kind of see the same commander for the next couple weeks or something like that, I'm going to try to get some new commanders in there uh, where I can. But uh, I've built Jinka Taxi so far, Tatsunari, Hisuju, and uh, Ishin. And if you haven't played Ishin, oh boy, that's some fun uh, That's some fun magic right there. It is. I really enjoy that commander. All right, so we got Graz coming down. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Whenever one or more creatures you control do combat damage to a player, draw a card. All right, so they've got a bird token, and they've got a uh, card draw engine over there right now with uh, <laughs> the 1-1 one, one bird token. So uh, they're going to be able to swing it for one, drop us down to 37, and that will end up being a card draw. So like I said, we'll, we'll see what we draw into for next turn. Uh, but we're setting up our battlefield right now for uh, a pretty good spot for Jinka Taxia. So the way I wanted to build this deck is uh, I didn't necessarily just want to rely on huge instant or sorcery spells. I didn't want to go extra turn dot deck with Jinka Taxius. And so one of my favorite cards is Mirror Works because whenever you cast an artifact, um, enters the battlefield, um, you can pay two mana just to make a copy of it and have a token of that particular... Uh, now, artifact, that's a lot of fun. Ooh, run into Tezzeret. My kingdom for uh, a blue mana. So let's go and go for Blink Moth. Let's go and get that down. That's going to be one, two. We're going to have a ton of mana off of this, and I like that. It's Dark Steel Citadel. And we do have protection and spell skite. So if they do have some sort of artifact enchantment removal, uh, we can target it with spell skite. All right, but it's going to cycle uh, Irrigated Farmland. Uh, let's get Blink Moth Urn onto the battlefield. And yeah, let's go and pay two on this one. I like it. There we go, we got double Blink Moth Urn, then anything else, we will pass the turn. So right now, we're hoping for double blue, or not double blue, double blue would be nice, but at least having a blue source is what we're going for. Uh, but yeah, with Blink Moth Urn and then Mirror Works, this, with Mirror Works, because whenever Jinka Taxis kind of came out, you know, you can build it very oppressively, you know, you're countering your opponent's stuff, you can rip into a bunch of extra turns, you know, just kind of close the game out that way, but, um... One of the fun things, oh goodness, we're going to be giving our opponent uh, a bunch of mana off that Blink Moth Urn, so we need to get a blue source pretty bad. Uh, but um, but the way I wanted to build this deck is, you know, Jinka Taxis does cost 7 mana, and that's a lot of mana to get down. So you're building this mono blue artifact ramp deck at its core, and so being able to kind of just slot in stuff, like, you know, if we rip into Worm Coil right now, we need to get a little bit of extra mana, but well, Blink Moth Urn will have it, but, you know, imagine us getting down Worm Coil Engine, getting a copy of it from Mirror Works. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we're doing to where if we have Jinka Taxis on the battlefield, it's amplified. You know, it's going to give us a better chance of trying to close the game out, but the deck still on itself functions by itself. You know, as we start drawing into more artifacts or we're getting more and more copies of it, um, that's going to give us the opportunity to hopefully just kind of build up this value board state. As far as some of the kind of like good artifacts that we're rocking in here, and actually I'll talk about that in just a second. See if we draw into that blue source. All right, run into Stroke of Genius. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, how do we set this up? Let's get the mana added to the mana pool. So we've got a huge chunk of artifacts. So that's going to be seven. Oh, oh yeah. 
All right, so we're going to stroke of genius for 14. <laughs> I think that sounds... That, that gives us a ton of mana. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we make the land drop, we're still missing on blue. Yeah, I think we just rip into a ton of cards. I think that's what we do. I like that. Yep, let's go for it. All right, so we're going to a stroke of genius for uh, for 12. And that's the other thing. A lot of our payoff cards are just draw spells. You can imagine if we had Jenga taxis out there being able to draw 24 cards. Oh, yeah. Look at this. All right, so we do run into that. Let's kind of get a quick look of what we got going on. All right, so let's go ahead and drop in Island. We'll go ahead and drop in Mana Crypt. And actually, we can set this up. Yeah, let's drop in Mana Crypt. And uh, this is not a storm deck, but if we had some storm stuff, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, do we want to make a copy of Mana Crypt? That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 3. That's going to be 5. I'm trying to figure out if we can get down Jenkin Taxius uh, with uh, Midnight Clock, but we just might end up doing some more setting up. Um, let's go double... Let's go double Mana Crypt on this. I, I like this. So let's get as much mana out there. So we're going to go ahead and pay two on this one. Yes, get down that Mana Crypt. Um, let's go for Fidelican Orrery. And actually, if we set up a Mistress Self-Replicator, self that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's drop in. Um, that way we just have some sort of uh, board state. That's going to be one, two. And I just now saw our opponent said our opponent said gross in the chat <laughs> off of that a stroke of genius. So um, we're gonna go and uh, well the, our opponent did scoop it up. So we're gonna take a win on this one. Um, th this is kind of what we're doing with Jenga Taxius. Like I mentioned, you know, it is always nice to get down Jenga Taxius and be able to make an extra copy of an artifact or an incident um, off of their ability. But at its core, we're building this mono blue ramp deck. And you can see we're just having mirror works down to get an extra copy of Blink Moth Urn. Um, that's going to add a ton of mana to our mana pool. We're able to stroke of genius for 12. Um, we potentially could have even you know, set up a turn to where we maybe got down Midnight Clock and got the blue mana for Jenkin Taxius. Uh, but either way, even if our opponent having just a bird token out there with card draw, um, you can see where we're really going to be able to take away from here. You know, we've got evacuation. We're going to be sending everything back to our opponent's hand. Um, we got lightning greaves. We're going to be able to get down immediately, put that on Jenga Taxius. And with the Mishra's Self Replicator on this one, whenever you cast a historic spell, pay one, create a token that's a copy of it. Um, this is going to be our army generation. So we get down Mishra. Um, as we keep making more and more copies, we can pay that one and keep getting those tokens out there to slowly start dealing with our opponent's side of the battlefield. So I um, didn't see much from Sisse Weatherlight Captain. I was glad we were able to kind of send it back to the command zone. But uh, you can see, even though we were stuck on one blue mana, uh, Blink Moth Urn really uh, <laughs> allowed us to draw a ton of cards. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Welcome to Jin Cataxia's Progress Tyrant. As far as our opening hand goes, we've got Ancient Tomb. Uh, but we're a little light on land, so let's go and mulligan on this one. And that's going to be Fable Passage with Island, War Room, Fabricate. Yeah, I like this. We can keep on this one. This is not the best opening hand, uh, but we've got an Artifact Tutor. We've got some Spot Removal in Raven Form. We've got a little bit of a value piece in Mishra Self Replicator. And, of course, it's always... Oh, yeah, we're going to keep on these. There we go. Um, let's put one card on the bottom... Yeah, we'll go and put um, Shimmer Dragon. I, I kind of want to get Mr. Self Replicator going if we can, so I, I kind of like that. So um, we'll put that on the bottom, and then let's go and lead off with Fable Passage. Um, that way we can get that down. Go and grab ourselves an island and uh, get this game started. Playing against the Mimeoplasm, which should be a lot of fun. Let's get Jin Taxi's prompt back up. Let's see if our opponent wants to pass the turn, or at least pass priority, and uh, we'll get this game started. Okay, there we go. So let's go and lead off with Fable Passage. Let's go and crack Fable Passage, grab ourselves an island, since we are mono blue. That's pretty much all we're going to be searching up. And then uh, anything else, let's go and pass it over to our opponent. We're playing Jenga Taxi as Progress Tyrant. Whenever you cast an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, choose new targets for the copy. Um, this ability triggers only once each turn. Then whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery spell, counter that spell. This ability only triggers once each turn. And one thing to keep in mind with Jenga Taxius is that... Uh, oh, we run into Impulse. I, I do like that. Um, lead off with Island, and then we'll go for Impulse on our opponent's turn. Uh, but yeah, with the Jenga Taxius, uh, that triggers only once per turn on our ability. But, you know, we can go for... Some sort of value play on our turn, pass the turn to our opponent, and then cash in some extra value off something like Impulse uh, on our opponent's turn. So it's always nice to be able to have that ability uh, trigger on our turn. Uh, playing against the Mimeoplasm. As the Mimeoplasm enters the battlefield, exile two creature cards from graveyards. If you do, Mimeoplasm enters the battlefield as a copy of one of those cards, and then it enters the battlefield with a number of additional plus one counters on it equal uh, to the power of the other card. 
And so let's go and let them resolve Gerard's orders and see what kind of hits the bin. I feel like there's probably something pretty gnarly out there. But either way, we're still going to have Impulse to dig a little bit deeper. Um, our opponent did get Mana Crypt out there. So at the end of the day, if we want to try to get ahead on Mana, uh, we can end up going for uh, Fabricate. But um, if we hit a land, or let's just see what our Impulse goes for and see what our opponent hits off of uh, Gerard's orders. Okay, so our opponent puts Jin Kataxi's core auger into the graveyard and then puts a bloom tender onto the bat, uh, puts it into their hand. So let's go ahead and go for impulse. Look at the top four uh, cards of our library. And our opponent did get Urborg out there, so we can at least tap down for black if we need to. Uh, not, not really sure why we're going to need to do that. So we've got Flooded Strand, Double Island, and Sav Robot. I want to make sure we're hitting our land drops, so let's just go and grab Island. I, th I think we're good with that. Put the rest on the bottom in any order. If we had a fourth land drop to go for, you know, if we had another land drop on our hand, that way we know for sure we could get down Sad Row, but probably keep on that one, but I um, like to a little bit safe than sorry. So let's go and drop in Island. So we're looking at a Mimeoplasm if they make the land drop. I, I think we're totally okay with exiling Mana Crypt right now. So, so let's go triple blue on this. Um, Exile Mana Crypt, that's going to give him a 1-1 bird token, but we can definitely deal with that at a later point. Um, at this point, we just don't want Jenga Taxis on the battlefield, so we'll trade a bird for that uh, Mana Crypt than anything else. Uh, let's go and pass the turn over to our opponent. So we did cover both commanders. Let's give a quick shout out to our sponsors, TCG Player. If you go to bit.ly slash joltmtg, that will apply my affiliate link. That'll allow you to get some cards and help support the channel at the same time. So if you do use that link, much obliged. I certainly appreciate it. Um, let's give a quick shout out to MTGO Traders. If you want to play Magic Online, they've got you covered. Um, let's give a quick shout out to inkgaming.com slash jolt for 10% off of your order off of whatever you get off their website. And... And last but not least, I started a Patreon, so if you'd like to directly support cool content like this, there's a link down in the description below. Uh, but if you're keeping score at home with your little baby samurai head, <laughs> it's officially free time, so let's have some fun. And let's see what we draw into. We draw into another island, so let's get the island down. So we're looking at, I think, Fabricate on Mana Crypt. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that'll be just enough for Jinka Taxius and... We might be able to just roll out Jenga Taxius next turn. I, I think I kind of like that. At the very least, we can either go for Jenga Taxius or if we uh, fabricate for a Mana Crypt. Uh, either we can do Mana Crypt or we can just grab a Soul Ring. Something to just get. I think Soul Ring actually would be a little bit better. So let's grab ourselves Soul Ring. Um, let's get down Soul Ring. That's going to be one. Because that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll be seven with War Room. And then uh, anything else, we'll pass it over to our opponent. Uh, but yeah, with their opponent only down to three cards in the hand. And having played Mimeoplasm in the past, um, when you're playing a Sultai kind of graveyard style deck, you've got to run a lot of, you know, reanimator options, a lot of stuff to get stuff into the graveyard. So I'm hoping that we can get down Jenka Taxis and our opponent doesn't have any spot removal. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So... And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So they actually will have five mana uh, for the Mimeoplasm. And we have no creatures in the graveyard at this point right now. So let's see. They're going to end up going for Jinka Taxius. That's going to be, ooh, that's going to be Beacon of Unrest on Jinka Taxius. All right, so draw cards. Each opponent is reduced by seven. All right, so we've got ourselves a, uh, <laughs> we've got ourselves a little bit of a matchup. Um, they have no max hand size. They're going to, oh my goodness. They're going to draw seven cards. Oof. And they're going to dump some cards into the bin. Okay. All right. So we probably will end up going for Jinka Taxia. So let's see what we can do about this. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. Let's see if they draw into some spot removal off of that card advantage. But at least we can get down Jinka Taxia. So let's go for War Room. Uh, let's get down Jinka Taxia. It's going to be tapping down for Black off of War Room. All right. We'll get down Jinka Taxia and then anything else. Uh, we will pass the turn. So now we do have Mishra Self-Replicator. And one of the things that I am running in this deck, you know, this is not extra turn Jinka Taxius. I don't even think we have an extra turn spell in here. Um, but mainly what we're trying to do is kind of build this like random artifact kind of control, not con artifact control, but a little bit of a control deck with artifacts being the win conditions. You know, something like, yeah, oh, forgot we've got to discard down the hand size. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, got rid of those, and then anything else, pass it over there. Yeah, so now we're at the top of the draw. Uh, but yes, with Mishra's Self-Replicator, um, this is one of those that we have a lot of artifacts in here. Let's say we get down Mishra's Self-Replicator. Um, whenever you cast a Historic spell, which includes artifacts or legendaries, um, you're going to be able to make a copy of it. So what you can do is, you know, let's say we're trying to get down Jinka Taxius. So we've got Mishra's Self-Replicator on the battlefield. Uh, we start casting our artifacts. That gives us the option to 
at least kind of build up the pseudo uh, robot army. So our opponent is tapping down for three mana, possibly. That's going to be search for Azkanta. And let's see what else they roll out for the turn. But this, we've got some ways to deal with what's going on out there. Our opponent does have a looting effect with Jace because they have no maximum hand size. So one of the good things about no max hand size is that they're not going to be able to just immediately dump stuff into the graveyard with the Mimeoplasm. Um, the only thing is they still at least have Mishra's Self-Replicator. If they've got some historic stuff over there, that may... Yeah, we'll kind of see what can happen on, on our side. So at this point, we're hoping to dig into either Card Advantage or Artifact, which really could help us out, because you can also do some really good stuff like get an extra copy of Pull from Tomorrow. And as long as we can dodge that maximum hand well that's going to be at the end step so i don't know if we can actually dodge uh, og core auger jenga taxis out there we'll see if the progress tyrant can do something about that so let's see what else they've got for the turn all right and we do draw into brainstorm with no way to fetch so yeah i guess we just go ahead and go for it that's going to be double brainstorm so it's going to pay one blue mana so we're going to get an extra copy of that then draw three cards, put two on the uh, on top of our library in any order. We have no way to shuffle this away, unfortunately. Guild of Lotus, Masterful Replication, and then Mirror Works. I guess if we're going to do some setting up, we end up going for Mirror Works. That way if we do hit an artifact. So let's put Guild of Lotus on top and Masterful Replication on top. Uh, we're going to draw three more cards, which is going to allow us to dig a little bit deeper. And that's going to be Shimmer Dragon. And we do not have the necessary artifact. I, I think at this point, if we're going to be ripping into some, we can rip into... Gilded Lotus off of Mirror Works and start to generate a ton of mana drawn to Shimmer Dragon. Yeah, I kind of like that. All right, so let's set it up this way to where we go Masterful Replication on top, Shimmer Dragon on top, and then we'll have Gilded Lotus. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Um, that's going to cut us off for being able to go for Mirror Works, though. So do we want Gilded Lotus or Shimmer Dragon? Yeah, I still think we just get ahead on main on this one. I'd love to be able to get down Mirror Works, but we're just, unfortunately, we're just a little bit far away from that. We can end up going for War Room with a card draw, uh, but we can set that up for next turn. So, um, yeah, we're we'll simply just going to go on past turn. We can swing in for a 5-5, five, five, but they actually got enough blockers between Jinka Taxius and Bloom Tinder, unfortunately, to stop our Jinka Taxius. So, um, let's just go on past the turn over to our opponent. Unfortunately, we're going to lose Mirror Works on this one, uh, but we'll Guild the Lotus out there. We're going to at least be able to draw into Shimmer Dragon, um, at our opponent's end step, and then hopefully dig a little bit deeper and find something else uh, that we can go for. Uh, but yes, yeah, so with the rest of the deck, so we do have a little bit of Spell Slinger in here. You saw that um, we got Mr. Self-Replicator. Um, we do have Archmage, um, the one that allows us to, whenever we cast an instant or sorcerer, to get some card advantage going, so we've got that in here. Um, outside of that, as far as some of our payoff um, artifacts, we got Mr. Self-Replicator, uh, we've got Thought Monitor, we got Mirror Battlesphere, Wormhole Engine, Duplicant, Tormentral, Gear Hulk. Um, we've, some of our payoff spells are really going to come in the form of Instant Speed, Draw X cards, and that's going to be cards like Pull from Tomorrow, um, Thassa's Intervention, Stroke of Genius, um, we do have some pretty fun spells, too, if we want to try to get an extra copy of it. And a Maynomic uh, Deluge. Um, that's going to allow us to exile a card out of our opponent's graveyard or our graveyard, make some copies of it. Um, if you're going to be able to copy that spell, oof, um, that is some good magic right there. Um, let's see what our opponent's tapping out there. Tapping down for two. And that's going to be Animate Dead on Rune Scar Demon. Okay, uh, so we're going to let that enter the battlefield. And that will end up being a tutor search off of Rune Scar Demon. So we'll see what that is. And then outside of that, yeah, with the we've got the Spell Slinger in here. We've got Talran. Um, as far as some of the card advantage, we've got both, we've got Tezzeret Betrayer, uh, which is the new Tezzeret, which I actually really do like in a deck like this. And um, we've got uh, the five mana Tezzeret Artifice Master, which you know, with the amount of artifacts we are running in here, we do get some really nice um, being able to use that zero ability to get some card advantage off that Tezzeret is very good. And and that's going to be Shieldred. My goodness. Okay. And that's going to be the beginning of your upkeep return of swamp that each player sacrifices a creature. All right. So it's going to be Jace the Mind Sculpt, and then we'll get Jace to flip. Um, we still have War Room activation to go for, but this is, uh, <laughs> we, we, we came for some Jinka Taxi's action. We're getting some very, very strong Mimeoplasm. This is, uh, all right. So we're going to go minus two, minus zero. That's going to make it a 3-5. Let's see what else they have to show for it. We're going to go for the War Room, but we already know what's on top of our library, unfortunately. So it's going to counter the Sim uh, Simic Signet. <laughs> Get that out of the way. And then let's see what else they end up going for. They at least got 6 damage that they can swing across with. 
All right, so we got Jin Jin Taxi swinging in. That's going to be Bird Token. Let's go and tap down War Room and go for uh, go for the activation. It's that triple blue. And that's going to draw into Shimmer Dragon, uh, which we can get that down and draw a card off of Gilded Lotus and Soul Ring, but mm, it's not the best thing we can do. And during our upkeep, I think we do have Masterful Replication, and so we might be able to do something with that because we've got the War Room activation. That's going to be one, two, three. And that still gives us just enough mana with Soul Ring and, and Four Islands if we go for War Room during our upkeep to get an extra copy of Jinka Taxi. So yeah, we can do something with that. Uh, maybe we can make some extra copies of Gilded Lotus. or and then, Yeah, either way, it's going to be pretty rough. So let's get to our upkeep and we'll see what we can do about this. Okay, so let's go for the War Room activation. That's going to be Gil Gilded Lotus t uh, tapping down for Triple Blue. And we draw into Masterful Replication. And we, yeah, so what we can do is we can get a bunch of Golem tokens. So let's do that. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And what this is going to do, this is going to allow us to at least kind of dodge the Shieldred upkeep trigger. And this is going to be another copy of Masterful Replication. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice a creature. Let's go and sacrifice the Golem token. Not the most exciting play that we can be doing with Jinka Taxis, especially with this being tapped out, but uh, it's better than nothing. So anything else is going to pass it over to our opponent. Um, I'm pretty sure we've already drawn into what we know is on top of our library, but at least with Flood Strain, if we go for that crack, um, we can get the island and then not have to worry about um, drawing into another island. All right, so opponents get the shoulder trigger. It's going to be able to bring our creature out of the graveyard. Um, so they've got Skittles out there right in the graveyard. And I think that's it. I think Skittles is the only creature card in the graveyard. Oh, excuse me. There's going to be uh, Spark Double. Okay. So we'll see what this enters the battlefield as. And I think with Spark Double, Creature or Planeswalker. So let's see what this is going to be. And that's going to be Rune Scar Demon. Now search your library for a card, put it in your hand. All right. So they're going to run the Soul Ring out to Jenga Taxi's first ability that's going to counter the Soul Ring. And they're going to go for Assassin's Trophy on Jinka Taxia. So yes, we will definitely use that ability. Let's go and put an island on the battlefield. And then, we will, yes, we will return Jinka Taxis back to the command zone. Now that does give them one, two, three, four, five. They still have access to at least five mana. Um, we've got the Shieldred Upkeep Trigger, which is going to get rid of, her, get rid of another Golem token. Yeah, I feel like we're not long for the world, especially if they start to push in, because they've got a 7-7, seven, seven, a 6-6, six, six, a 5-6, six, and a 5-4 out there. Um, I guess we could just try to double up on the Golem tokens on the ground, but with the flying threat, they've definitely got a pretty good flying threat. And unfortunately with Shieldred, um, with them having Urborg out there, that does make our lanes into swamps, so they are going to be able to swing in with Shieldred. Okay, our opponent's going to go for Cyclonic Rift and send everything back to the hand, so there we go. Um, good game to our opponent on this. We're going to let them swing in. That's going to be... That's going to be 11, that's going to be 15, the reanimate on Shimmer Dragon, yeah, that, that is, uh, that is rough right there, that, that is a, <laughs> not the best showing for Jinka Taxis, but hey, when they get early Jinka Taxis out there sometimes, it's a little hard to do something with that. Alright, so we got the crew swinging in on this one, that's going to drop us down pretty low, and that's going to drop us down to 12, um, we'll see what we draw into, but with us trying to cash in extra value again, I, I don't think we're going to be able to get this. Okay, so we have to sacrifice a creature. We've got nothing out there. See what we rip into. You run into three and dynamo. So good game to our opponent on this one. Uh, not going to get it. We're going to go and scoop it up on this one. The original Jinka Taxi has kept us out of the game, uh, trying to get the new one out there. So anyway, if you enjoyed the game, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.